and welcome to Saving Throw. Today we discuss feats. Then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say, These wounds I had on Crispin's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Ben, that was beautiful. Love spring doth always fresh remain. <laughs> Where am I? You're still in the studio. How long was I out? You know, like 20 minutes. We thought you needed to sleep. Who's that? <laughs> Very funny, sweetie. Here are your contacts. What time are you going to be done tonight? Um, I think around 10-ish. Probably be asleep by then. Sorry to interrupt, guys. No problem. Cute dress, Kristen. Oh, thank you. I'll see you later. Love you. Love you, too. Oh, sorry, guys. Where were we? Feats. Uh, like accomplishments? No, not really. Accomplishments are more like experience points, which is how you gain a level. So, what are feats? Well, feats are a special ability that adds flavor to make your characters unique. This is a role-playing game, so you can never have enough special abilities. Cool. How do you use feats? Are they like skills? Well, no. Some of them are, but some are just there to buff an existing skill. For example, the stealthy feat gives you a plus two to your escape artist and stealthy skill checks. But a feat like snatch arrows is a separate skill that allows you to catch a projectile that shot at you. And feats like Brew Potion will allow you to, well, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> there are a crap load of feats that do all kinds of amazing and weird things. Like, did you ever want to be good at throwing random items at people? There's a feat for that. Did you ever want your character to run really, really, really fast? There's a feat for that. Do you want your character to be super good at reloading a crossbow? There's a feat for that! How many feats do I get? You're in luck, Ben. Every character starts out with one feat, but because Garthok is a fighter, he gets a bonus feat as a first level. But that bonus feat has to be a combat feat. Those are the ones marked with the asterisk. Cool. Whoa. Can I see that again? What's that weird little indentation? Good eye. Many of the skills have a prerequisite. You can't take an advanced feat until you meet the prerequisite. It's like registering for college classes. You went to college, right? Yeah, liberal arts college. Uh, I love math. Well, m the math you need here is so easy, even a guy with a BFA can understand it. <laughs> Your mom has a BFA. Y yeah, she, she does. Uh, how did you know that? I am um, just, just guessing. Sorry, what were you saying about prerequisites? For example, you can't take improved lightning reflexes without taking basic lightning reflexes first. And some combat feats require a high base attack bonus before you can take that skill. Ooh, base attack bonus? Yeah, okay. So each class gets a base attack bonus, or BAB, at a different rate. So the rates are covered on the big old table at the start of each class section. A fighter gains a base attack bonus at plus one per level. So. Level 1 is plus 1, level 2 is plus 2, level 12 is plus 12, etc., etc. Right, so if you wanted to take a feat like Critical Focus, which has a prerequisite of plus 9 base attack bonus, you'd have to wait until Garthok was at least level 9 to take it. Garthok's current base attack bonus is plus 1, so you can take any feat that has the plus 1 base attack bonus prerequisite. I'm super confused. I don't blame you. There are almost 200 feats, <laughs> and some are more useful than others. Well, I wouldn't say some are more useful than others. I just say they're useful in a different way, maybe an unexpected way. Fair enough. All right, but choosing a feat is a lot easier when you're at a lower level because there's not as many to choose from. I guess that's where I start then, right? right. Narrow down the feats only to the ones that I can pick? Right. All right, let's do that. It sounds good. Yeah, 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 let it out. Let it out, good buddy. You guys have to let me know when we're going to do this. I get motion sickness. Well, you just take a minute, and while you do that, we'll peek at that feats table again. The table is located on page 114 to page 117, and it's a four-page monster of a table. Let's narrow it down a bit. We can get rid of all the item creation and meta magic feats because Garthok can't use magic. And we can get rid of all the feats that are indented, since those have prerequisites. Get rid of all the stuff with high base attack bonus prerequisites. 
and then get rid of all of the feats with too high ability score prerequisites. So do we pick now? Not yet, Hotshot. Certain classes get certain feats for free at first level. Right. These free feats are located on page, um, Amy, or are these listed anywhere? Oh, um, are they under the class description? Mm, no. Mm. Okay. Well, basically fighters are automatically proficient in all armor and most weapons, except for exotic weapons. So the more fightery classes get free feats, while the classes that don't do a lot of hand-to-hand -hand fighting, like wizards and sorcerers, have to take weapon and armor feats separately because they're squishy, non-combat weenies. I got it. Uh, so I pick two feats? Yep. yep. What's it gonna be? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so first, a couple things. Even though you can't pick them yet, it might be a good idea to pick a feat that might lead to higher level feats. For example, you can pick Weapon Focus, which gives you a plus one to attack rolls. It's not that impressive on its own, but it's the prerequisite for a bunch of other feats like Dazzling Display, Deadly Stroke, or Penetrating Strike. <laughs> what? Why, why are you giggling? Well, I definitely want Garthok to be good at stroking and penetrating. No, 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 no. I see what you did there. Teen rating, Ben. Sorry. Can I continue? Please. All right, thank you. It's also good to think about your role within a party. Let's be honest, Garthok's not gonna win friends with his good looks and charms. He's not gonna sneak around and he's not gonna be doing a bunch of library research. Garthok smash! Right. Exactly, Garthok is a brawler. Hell, it's in his name. Fighters, fight. And wizards, whiz. That means pee pee. Okay. Ivan, is that joke acceptable? A pee joke? <laughs> I'll allow it. Oh, come on. Yes! <laughs> All right, so let's narrow the feats list a little further. We'll focus on combat feats that have good progression. For you, here are the best choices. Your first option is Power Attack, which allows you to trade base attack bonus for additional damage. Basically, you can choose to hit harder, but you'll miss more often. Right, and your second option is Weapon Focus, which gives you a bonus to attack rolls for one weapon. You have to pick that weapon when you select this feat. I'm guessing it'd be... My axe! Right. right. So next is Combat Expertise, which is a feat like Power Attack, but instead of trading attack bonus for damage, you're trading attack bonuses for Armor Class, which again makes you harder to hit. This feat path eventually allows you to be good at crazy combat maneuvers, like tripping and disarming opponents. And the last option is Dodge. That gives Garthok a bonus to his Armor Class. This feat normally has a high dexterity prerequisite, but Garthok is a crazy quick little bastard, so he can take it at first level. So, those are your options, and I have a feeling I know what you're going to... POWER ATTACK! Right. <laughs> you know what? Good choice. Garthok is a masher. Power attack is for mashing. <laughs> and you get one more. Shield focus. Oh, really? Okay. Why, why shield focus? I figure Garthok will be a tank, uh, so he's going to need good survivability in a fight. The extra armor is going to help. Uh, he already gets shield proficiency due to his fighter class, and the next level he gets weapon focus, then improved shield bash, then weapon specialization at level four. I'll take improved bull rush at fifth level, then shield slam because it synergizes with bash and allows me to get a free bull rush at plus two attack with every bash attack. After that, I can do greater bull rush and greater weapon focus, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Jesus, guys, it's not that hard. You just have to pay attention to the prerequisites. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, we're done with feats. Thanks for joining us, everyone. If you liked what you saw in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw, just shut up. No one asked you. Yeah, and be sure to watch the next episode where we'll cover money and equipment. Until then, we are Saving Throw and... Rest Dungeon!